All right, I want to say what's up. Welcome to a game called Wild Hearts. A lot of people asked me to check this game out. Shout out to EA. They're actually the ones that gave me the code early and are sponsoring this video. All right, so what is Wild Hearts? Been playing it for like the last two hours. I'll kind of give you a best summary I possibly can. It's developed by Omega Force. You may know them. I know that name very well because I used to love Dynasty Warriors. Uh, it's published by EA, and the game is available on PS5, Xbox Series, S and X, and Windows. If you would like to play it yourself, I have a link at the very, very top of the description. Just click that. It should take you where you need to go. All right, so a little bit about the actual gameplay itself. So the entire game takes place in a fantasy medieval Japan. You can have all four seasons. you got enemies that kind of look like the surroundings. And you essentially fight these giant beasts. They're going to be kind of fused with nature elements over time. So they modify to their surroundings, accommodate their needs. You fight them, start their behaviors. You've got different patterns, different attacks. After you take them down the first time, you get different types of items. You take it back to your hunting grounds. You kind of can craft armor. Weapons, everything. And while at your campsites, you can actually use the Karakuri technology. This is the ancient tech that enables you to adapt your environment into creating hunting grounds ideal for taking down giant kimonos. And you kind of use this technology also in combat. So you kind of be like building a box, jumping off top of it, doing like a downward slice. Or you can kind of just like build a barricade they run into and kind of get stunned. And although I'm playing this entire video solo, you can play with up to two friends. You can do a duo, a trio. I decided to be solo, though, because I'll do like most games. But anyways, all likes you drop on this. Greatly appreciate it. If we had like 20,000 in the first day, expect a part two. Love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right, looks like we got some gameplay now. Nice. All right, we got, uh, see, crouch, jump. Oh, it's slash. So it. Oh, so it shows you what's next as you do something. As they walk, it's also different commands, too. We got this. We got this. That is cool. We can sprint. <gasps> Look at that sliding animation. So sick. I'm gonna do this everywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're following this. Pursue. Here we go. Hey, the game looks really nice. Playing on PS5 on performance mode. I feel slide everywhere. What does my character look like? Don't quite see the face. Alright. Game looks very vibrant, I'll say that much. Like, it looks really nice. <laughs> oh, it actually slides you down. That's so sick. What? Wait a minute. Well, how am I supposed to get up there? What in the world? Oh, it's combat time. Here we go. So good. All right, hold R1 to climb. Okay, you can jump. Very nice. Oh, wait, here we are. I got a little stamina gauge going on there. Okay. Is this one gonna break too, or what? 
This game is really nice. It's very smooth. Oh, wait. Uh, when still? Wait, what? Pet or slay? Clearly we're going with pet here. Hey, buddy. That's awesome. Wait, pick up. What is this? Lesser cane antler, okay. Alright, sneaking back here. Find the source of the music. And here we are. This isn't the music. This is like a... Something else. Hold on. All right, finding the source of music is still the main objective. So we're headed back through here again. Oh, there's a person right here playing a uh, instrument. Hold on. Is it? You come from afar, do you not? <laughs> Perhaps fate has had a hand in our paths. Crossing here. Let us talk a while. So, a visitor in the land of the East. You do realize asthma is fraught with danger. Mountains and rivers, the source of their great power. Land shaped to their will. Yes, I speak of Kemono, rampant in these parts. Few humans remain, driven from what is now Kemono territory for lack of sustenance. Ha ha ha, listen to me preaching to Buddha. For one look at you speaks volumes. The gauntlets that back your hands the blade at your side? You are no stranger to Kimono. You derive from an ancient clan. One that made Kimono its business. You are a hunter, huh? Uh, we get questions now. Alright, that's right. Or all the dots. Let's go with that's right. Yes. The epitome of the hunter creed you are. And what am I, you ask? Aha! Simple musician, of course. My name is... Muzina. Shall we say? Alright, so, what were you just playing? You're no ordinary magician. Or musician, excuse me, not magician. <laughs> Why the mask? There we go. This? This is my... Visage. Underneath, there is nothing. And everything. 
Not a sight for the faint-hearted. Still, <laughs> we are here to talk not of me, but of you. I wish to know every detail. From whence did you arrive in this land? So you have to kind of make your own backstory here, it looks like. All right. Uh, from the western capital. Hmm. I kind of just like this one, the third one. It kind of makes the most sense, right? Truly. Precipitous and perilous are the paths trodden by Kemono. Sadly. The days of hunters being revered in Hinomoto are long gone. To the west? Samurai battle not kimono, but each other. Hunters facing hunger these days are many. Some have turned their hands to farming, others to thieving. Alright, let's see. Why? So what, like, kind of... Always a drifter with war calls for soldiers, not hunters. There's no place for me in the samurai's world. Okay, I don't... Hmm. I kind of like this one. More mysterious than all the other ones. Mm, indeed. What good is a hunter of kimono on the battlefield of man? Well, this realm may offer you new purpose. The samurai have abandoned that place. The kimono have not. So you leave your home and travel to Azuma by yourself, yet pursue a life as a hunter still. Why? What compels you to hunt? Uh, this is some good questions. Alright, there's money in rare. Let's see. Riddle almost zen like, but be warned. Many who seek such an answer find quietus before clarity. Are you one of the many or the few? Ha! Forgive me. With age, a curious compulsion to counsel comes. Well, it is clear to me now. You have a strong will. And where there is a will, there is a way. Your goals may yet change. Recall, as you journey on, a hunter yields not. Yes, Asma may well be the place for you. Anyway, enough of this lengthy commerce. Your nabe pot has had ample time to stew. I will disturb you no more. You have a hunger to satisfy. Remove hat? Finally, can see what my character looks like. Unless, hold on. This seems like one of those instances where if there is created character, which I'm assuming there might be, this could be when it starts. We'll see. I had a feeling. All right, here we go. Um, all right, so we're just gonna pick one of these as a, I guess, just kind of like a, like a preset. I think honestly, I'm just gonna go with uh, this one. All right, face. I'm gonna change too much. I don't wanna get too far into the details. I just wanna like, kind of keep what they already have because I feel like it looks fine. I'm not one of those people that sit there for hours creating a character because I feel like I'm going to have a lot of armor anyways. What the hair? The, the hair might be a big deal. We'll see. Oh, that one's kind of cool. Look at that. That one looks nice too. Hey, what is this one? I like that'd be a little distracting. I don't know. What is this? That also looks kind of cool. Very cool. I like it. We got the mohawk going on. Let's 
This reminds me of Jean Grey a little bit. Actually, it looks kind of cool. This one looks awesome, too. Hold on, what is this one? Okay. Let me see the other column. Oh, that one looks nice. Kind of has that Baki look a little bit. Like with the hair color. Or is it like his dad in the anime? I can't remember. I like this one. And I know exactly what I'm naming this character. Uh, Alright, hairstyle. We've already got that figured out. Front of head. Oh, really? You can customize that too. Now that's cool. I haven't seen a lot of games do that. Although I might not change it. Hold on, how many options do we have here? We have a lot. I, I don't know. I kind of like a, almost all of these look fine. Maybe not this one because how do you see, right? So this is what I currently have. This is like a little bit more than that. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with what... Unless one of them kind of just stands out. I'll go all the way to the end so I can just see them all. The one eye, that's a cool look. Yo, that's actually kind of clean. Imagine. You know what? This seems more simple. You know what? I'm just going to go with this. So you can change the length and the curl and all that too. Single braid. Alright, let's see what we got. Other options. The bun. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like this one. Alright. We're going with this one. All right, we're good on this part. Makeup. I'm not going to go crazy. I think everything's fine the way it is. Yeah, I'm not going to change this stuff. We're going to have a lot of armor on, I'm going to imagine. Undergarments. Voice. All right, here we go. This might be kind of important. Let's just play a few. Back in shape. All in place. It's complete. <sighs> it's... Let's use this. Not so fast. Just what I needed. All in place. Dear, fixed. Prepared for the worst. Let's use this. I like that one. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Okay. Let's finished. go with that one. Personality. This is cool. Uh, all right. Let's see what each of them do. That one's kind of clean. I like that. The thinking. I like that. Hmm. I think I like this one. And equipment, let's see. Let's see, hide headgear. Or we can have it on. Yeah, I think so. That was the default, too. Interesting. Alright, we'll just do it like this. We'll keep it how they have it. Here's what I'm naming my character. From Dead or Alive. You may see the name. I think it's the hair color. Alright. Oh, we're good. Tell me, do you have a destination in mind? Or might I offer a suggestion? East of the sacred mountain here, beyond the old blossom trail known as the Harugasumi Way, lies Minato, a small town where the few hunters that remain in Hinomoto gather. With its inhabitants, you may perhaps share. Ah, oh, it draws near. You recognize the signs, of course. The land consumed by the territorial craving of the kimono. Before long, you will be trapped. A lone hunter, frozen solid in a natural ice house. All right, let's do it. Uh -huh. Spoken like a true hunter. Do you feel it? The quarry is close. This will be the measure of your metal. 
Yo, these look crazy. Look at that barrage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Over the rock. Finish. Uninterruptible. Wanna let me get both of these in? Cause they have to wait. Man, this game is nice. The sword hits feel like very uh now that leader. Venture on hunter into the snow storm. But venture with caution. Alright. The snowstorm, here we go. Yeah, you know like whenever the swords hit it just feels right. Feels like everything connects really well. Oh, hold on. We got some more. Are they gonna fight me? Hey buddy. Yo, they're chilling. Nice. The snow effects look really good too. Anything back here? Man, look at your armor getting kind of. I thought it was covered in snow for a second. My bad. Or maybe it is. I can't tell if this is how it's supposed to look or what. Alright, so it looks like. Okay, the jump doesn't take too much stamina. What is that? That looks like the thing on the uh, the intro screen when you first started up. Uh oh, a little bit concerning is here. Hold on, he's munching on something. Fight this now? What in the world? Uh oh, time to go? What you got for me? Oh, that spin attack was actually kind of cool. Six damage. Six damage. <laughs> not, a, not a lot right now. Ooh, that hurt. The range on that. Sliding is so cool. Oh god. I don't know, it's gonna hurt. I think I died. Oh no, cutscene. Some serious injuries going on there. I am limping. That ain't good. Wait, what's going on?
Yet a thread of a hope remains, perhaps. Let it weave this seed into your soul. Let the spirits in the Karakuri join your own. Let them drive you to hunt. For that is your destiny. Find Minato. Find the home of the hunters. Only there will your journey truly begin. When I saw that bear thing pop up, that was incredible. I actually, like, jaw was on the floor for a minute. Uh, collect healing water. Okay. Uh, should we go ahead and top off again? So we gotta climb up out of here. Right, L1. We just made a thing, all right. Made two of them now, stacked them up. So we're making a platform to get up top, got you. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting that at all. Conjure Dismantle. Okay. Got a little menu there. Really some building going on. Alright. Very nice. And what did that say? Hold L2. Okay. Thought I saw it pop up. Okay, so we're basically... Yeah, what is that? Extract bread. Looks like we've hit our cap on capacity there. Okay. Now we're going to craft the same thing. Got all this? That little, like, bounce effect off the top is pretty cool. Can I do it again? Oh, they're glowing right here. Here we go. I don't need both, though. There we go. 12 is the max we can actually carry. Uh-oh. Wrong thing. Hold on. Very nice. You can also use crates to attack. What in the world? <gasps> oh, that's sick. Let's go ahead and get this. I wonder how close we can get. That's awesome. Alright, very nice. Finish each of these. And we're good. Lizard Bloom. Alright. Very cool game so far. So could I technically deconstruct this and take all that stuff back, right? So I just say minus, minus, minus. <laughs> oh, you, wait. <gasps> you can change the size. That is crazy. What in the world? Give me all that back. We're capped out anyways. Alright, let's go. 
I'm really surprised so far. This is a nice game. Oh, we got a loading screen. Oh, it shows you the way. Mine those core stone, okay. So we're pretty much maxed out on this, right? Yeah, we can't carry anymore. But they're there just in case we uh in case we need to. Brand new area. Go ahead and scan around just in case. All right, travel point at giant tree trunk camp discovered. Oh wait, there's a person right here. That ain't good. All right, conjure, hold on. What have any materials here? Is it this thing? What is this? Healing water, nice, okay. That's only if we need to use it. Oh, it gave you 10 out of 10? Oh wait, this must be it right here. I'm saying to do this, but I can't, because I don't have anything. Dragon Prince is powerful enough, okay. Okay, that's why, you have to like, try to do it first. Uh, all right, here we go. Hey, okay. So we can put a camp. You essentially make your own fast travel point. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, well, you know what's funny. I suppose just put it right here. We'll set it up nice, though. Let's do... Put this kind of in the middle. And now we'll set up the... Uh, this will set up the camp part. Right next to it, but not... Not on top of it though, like right there. So we got a fast travel point now, nice. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it says a lantern. Uh, does it really do anything? I could put it right here. Kind of new, well, let's just try it right there. Warm yourself. What about the person over there? Play online, cancel, decide what to hunt next. Let's go help this person out. She is struggling. What in the world? Get out of here! Where are you going? Why are they running like that? Oh, you want to go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Let's go. Rage tell. Oh, God. The music's nice. You can... Okay. You can block them with the crates. Interesting. You can, oh, you can kind of get him distracted. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice touch. That's so cool. Actually, go after the tell if we wanted to. Oh, I'm trying to heal. Hold on.
Man, the music is really nice. I love how you can kind of, I guess, like chop off the tail or something. What you got for me? Ow! <laughs> Make a little barrier right here. <laughs> what you got for me, dog? Let's go. Right, right through it, okay. Big damage, big damage, come on. Hey, it's to flee. I don't think so, buddy. I'm gonna top off my health just in case. A tree falling down. It's like it's so obvious. This is personal. I was trying to save that woman back there. Uh oh, here we go. From the top! Oh, come on. From the top rope! Oh, he's stuck! I'm going in! Big damage. Let me back up. A lot of healing water everywhere, so I'm gonna heal up as much as I can. That barrage attacked us so much. Running away again? I don't think so. Not this time, buddy. Oh my god, what was that just ran past? Press everything to regain consciousness, okay. Oh wait, what? It's standing on the tail. No, oh, watch out. on that one. Keep running out of stamina. That little run. Too far away. Ooh. Careful, Brad. Careful. That last hit did so much damage. Is the tell is it tell hitting time? Come on, stamina! I need to come back, hold on. I 
think I got it. Let's get this. Final blow time. That is so sick. Everything about that was awesome. Rage tell. We got all that. Whew, that was a long fight. Six minutes and 30 seconds almost. We should go check on that lady. <laughs> it's been a while. You can now conjure springs with that. Oh my god. So you can be running? Can you... Turn to the camp from the map. Or I can just run back there. Wasn't too far away. And what we got over here? Hold on. This game is awesome. I love the... Uh, the scale of it was nice. Here, let me scan around a little bit. This ain't go back there. So I could touch pad and go back, or I'm going to go on foot because I want to see the game a little bit more. That was a very cool fight. I kind of want to take these back, though. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and destroy this. Uh, yeah, I'll take that back. Or maybe, I don't know if I got anything there, actually. Probably not. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. That was a cool fight. It turned into, like, I didn't know what I was doing at first. I was like, all right, I'm supposed to chase this thing, obviously, but I was worried I wasn't supposed to fight it just yet because that was a long fight. And then something that was huge ran right past us. It had me so hyped when I saw it. All right, we're almost there. Yeah, we still don't need steps, I think. There was something to our left, well, we are right now, that I wanted to see. Yeah, I saw all these statues. I thought this was an actual bear. Uh, train? Oh, I didn't know it did all that. Yeah, I can't lock on to smaller enemies for some reason. I'm trying to, but... Oh, well. This is what I kept doing. Watch this last hit. So much damage. 65, and it did an extra hit there. <gasps> I didn't know you could do that. Until the wills come off, you can just keep doing it. That is sick. Are? Who are you? You're a hunter? You must have saved me. How can I possibly repay you? I'd be dead by now if it wasn't for you. Sorry, I'm Natsume. A blacksmith from Minato, the small town just beyond here. I came to collect materials, but I must have been knocked out when that kimono attacked. That's the last I remember. All right, we got one choice and one choice only. Here we go. Oh, really? I'd be glad to show you the way in that case. Only, well, a single look saves a hundred questions, as they say. Come with me. There was a bridge there, you see? Linking the Harugasumi way here to the other side. That's where Minato is. It must have collapsed with that big tremor before. I suppose it was the tremor that scared the kimono and made it jump out in front of us. Oh! This is bad. I have to find Ujishige-san. Uh, that's who you were with? Make sure all right at first. Yeah, I mean... You don't. He only came with me because I insisted. I put him in danger. Perhaps mortal danger? Wait. You're a hunter, though. So presumably you earn a living taking on hunting missions? 
Would you track down Ujishia-san for me? I'll do what I can to help as well, of course. Arigato! I won't forget this. It was a Kohakunushi that attacked us. The Minato hunters call them Sap Scourge. They're always causing trouble. You'll need a decent weapon to take it on. But I might be able to help with that. We blacksmiths can't fight, Kimono. But give me a workbench, and I'll hone any weapon you can throw at me. So, shall we head back to the camp? Gather our thoughts? So she's gonna be, like, part of the game for a while. Um... Sliding down this, I suppose. What a really nice intro to the game. Very well done. We had... Let me cut down some of these trees. I think I started training by accident. Uh, in training, there we go. Our return to the camp. Here we go. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything here I can use as a makeshift workbench. All right. Ooh, hold on. What is this? Orbs obtain. Okay, hunting. What about? Hold on. I saw something else too. We got. Okay, friends list. Equipment. Oh wow. Rage tail. That's the thing we just got. That's cool. Look at that enemy though. That's so like. That's like the perfect picture. The way we finished it though was was awesome. All right, it says, uh... Oh, it says that and then select that. Okay, never mind. I pressed R2 by accident. Here we go. Drying rack, we got... Here it is. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Mm, I guess we could put it, like, right here. Must be some sort of karakuri power. Sugoi. Right. Now I have an anvil. I can make myself useful. Luckily, the tools I brought with me weren't damaged. So all I need is materials, and then I should be able to make you a bow and arrow or sword or something. Uh, probably not quite what you're used to. But I'm sure I can come up with something that suits. Um, could I maybe have a look at that karakuri katana of yours? I'd love to dismantle it and find out exactly how it works. <laughs> don't worry, I don't mean right now. First, we have to find Ujishige-san and a way back to Minato. Let's talk about it then. All right, let's go ahead and ask to do some forging. I'm a little limited in what I can do here, but which one are we talking about? This is awesome. We get to pick one or both. Hold on. Now we have enough for both things. Okay, rage tail pelt. That's the thing we just got. Ooh, enhance. Now we need whatever this stuff is. Okay, rage tail fang. Okay, so I'm guessing you fight that enemy multiple times. Let's go ahead and get this one too. Inherited... Okay, inherited skills from one weapon to the other. So it already had Savage, but it took the 3% critical master from one weapon to the next. Wait, is that... There we go. Enhance. Let's go, baby. What about armor? <laughs> Can I make I'm armor right now? Limited. Do you have something particular in mind? <sighs> This is so nice. Oh, man. Look at this samurai armor. That looks so cool. I almost have enough to make this. So I could technically make this. Which I think is actually better. Yeah, so this is the only two items that are lit up right now. Let's make this one and then... Equip immediately. That's a nice 
quality of life things going to do the same for this one. All right, it's all we can craft right now. I'm a little limited in what I can do here, but I will try my best to help Udishige-san. With some more materials, I could make you some very strong armor. All right, make a plan to hunt around the campfire as soon as you're ready. Okay. All right, that's it for the first video. If you would like a part two, just destroy that like button. I love you all. Thanks again, EA, for sponsoring this video. It means a lot. If you want to play it yourself, just click the link at the very top of the description. I love you all, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Take it easy.